Hey, Doug. Hey, Brian. <laughs> Look, looky here what we've got. We've got some interesting sales numbers. So these are Utah, Utah. real estate numbers yeah. for the whole state. And they're all from August. So they all so January through August of each year. Of each year. So we're all the same. Yep. Not the entire year. It's just these these eight months, Correct. seven months. So so the reason we did this is we're trying to figure out what's stopping people from buying today. Yeah, this this is fascinating because okay, so 2020, 5100 on the market at the end of July, right? Yeah. But yeah, but year, but that so far that year, 5400 in sales. 5,400 people bought homes, right? So uh, pretty much an even... Yeah, one-to-one, one one basically. To one, yeah. the, then it dropped in 2022. What happened in 2022? That's when everything went nuts. Went, right? went nutty, and the rate, rate, interest rates did this. Correct. Interest rates run up. At and, the end of the year. At the end of the year, and yeah, after October. Yeah. But I guess it wouldn't apply, right? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Then in 2023... So last year... Interest, so, we're dealing with interest rates. Yeah, a little worse than two to one. Yeah. But look at this year, Doug. This is weird. It's almost a five to one ratio. Yeah. So what that's telling us, Brian, is that there's more houses on the market. Yeah. So if you think if you're thinking at any time that maybe you want to get in and buy a house, today is a good time. Yeah. In fact, if you really want to, we all know about supply. And demand. Ooh. Wait, wait. Really? That's a thing. It's, it's that simple? It's that simple. Here's your supply. Here's your demand. Demand is down. Supply is up. What does that mean? Uh, uh, tell us. Buy. It's the time to buy. <laughs> time to buy. Yeah, yeah. This, was da this has downward pressure on home prices. We've seen a lot of price reductions. So if you're going to, if you're waiting, if you're on the fence, you want to get off the fence for it right now because that looks good to me. There you go. As a buyer. So if we, I'm going to borrow a pen too. And I'm going to do, let's do, so right now we're saying that we've got, you know, this many buyers, you know, and, and we're looking at, I mean, a five to one, we're looking at this many houses. So there's our buyers and there's our houses, the demand, right? What happens, Brian? If some magical button happens and interest rates drop. Like they have so far this year. Oh, what? So, They're down? Yeah, so interest rates are down, what, a percent and a half in the last six months, four months? Okay. So what happens is this number of buyers here, this creeps up, right? And the supply kind of does what it does. We have more buyers, more competition. And what happens to prices? Prices go down. Oh, no, prices go up. Prices yes. go up. Yeah. Yep. So right now, what most people don't understand is we've got a huge pool of buyers just sitting out here waiting that are waiting for interest rates to come down. They've, they've listened to that crazy uncle that says, don't buy now. Interest rates are too high. They think interest rates are going to come back down to the 1% or 2% mark. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. I'll be dead before any of that thing even comes close, yeah. you know, 100 years from now. What about the election? Maybe... Wait all, till the election's over. Yeah, wait till the election's uh, over. Knows. Okay, but all of that stuff is going to impact right here. Because right now, you, if you get pre-approved, you've got a great pool of houses to look at. Yeah. And, and fact, the, the, the best, biggest pool. In years. In years, literally. Yeah, in years. As of right now. So, and like Brian said, from a house standpoint, with the demand and the, the supply being up, People are able to negotiate better, and prices overall have started to come down. What we're seeing from a real estate standpoint is you still have some of these sellers that think that it's it's 2022 or 2021, and they're trying to get a premium for their house. Um, I've got one across the street from me. They yeah. they're they're about seventy thousand high. Not gonna, probably not gonna happen. Wish them the best if the if it does. That just benefits me, right? In that my house, like a lot. But but again, we've got great inventory. So go, you know, go look. Go look. Get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Yeah, yeah. If you if you're looking for a house six months ago, early twenty this earlier this year, it's a little different market right now. A yeah. lot more in the market right now.
But like Brian was saying, so we all of a sudden we go back to our supply and demand curve. Buyers, all of a sudden we start seeing this buyer, the amount of buyers going this way. Then all of a sudden that impacts your houses. So your house prices are going to do the same thing. They're like, going to go up. Like we saw during the pandemic, right? Right. Look at that. Look at the imbalance there. And here. Yeah. And the rates go up so and you, buyers drop down. So you have more yeah. buyers than you have sellers. And so now your buyers are dictating a little yeah. bit. And so prices are going up. Yeah. It's all math. Just math. <laughs> it's math. It's market math. It's math. But it really goes back to, you know, like we talked about election and holding whatever that's going to do. And then or, interest rates. Or maybe the maybe Fed. interest rates will continue to go down. I'm telling you, the September Fed meeting that's coming up where they may or may not drop rates, who knows? It doesn't matter. The bond market right now thinks it's going to. It's not going to matter. It, it's really not so so let's just jump into that just a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on my soapbox just a soapbox. Little, let's go a little bit. I'm ready. All right. So to me it is if we watch, so the the Fed is looking at unemployment rates and what else? The, what were the, inflation. Inflation. That's all they care about is inflation and, and the labor market. In the labor market. That's all they care. About. So if you've watched the last year and 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 I guess. I'll put the conspiracy hat on, I guess. But if you've watched the last year, every month they come out and say, hey, the un unemployment was way down and the job market was way up. Right. But then three weeks after that, or four weeks, they adjust it all and it all adjusts down. Yeah. I mean, they've been off 800,000. Oh, so off. I yeah. mean, it's the Fed, Fed is historically really bad. At guessing, yeah, and, and so yeah. so the numbers that we're playing with and, and that we're being told aren't correct. So to me, if you're listening and watching those, they're not correct. Yeah. So anyway, so you got interest rates, but then back in March, the Fed, uh, uh, re the Federal Reserve Chairman came out and said that they weren't going to lower interest rates in September because they didn't want to seem like it's a political body and having political effects on yeah. the election and stuff like that. So to me, as, as I'm looking at it, we've got squirrely numbers from the unemployment. We've got, let's not, you know, impact an election because if they lower interest rates in September, typically your interest rates are going to go up they don't want to, they don't want that. They want everything to look really nice going into the election. They're a very conservative group of people right now, the Fed. They don't like to do stuff. Yeah. So whether they you think they've over what they call tightening to slow down the economy or doesn't really matter. That's what they've done. And they're yeah. just kind of just stuck. So it's all just like Brian was saying, it's all in the bond market. It's not in, in the that. bond the bond market is like the stock market. It trades and it reacts very quickly to news and theories and projections the fed does not they're slow on purpose they're on slow purpose. and just kind of eh, lots of days go about i think but you know there you go so all of this stuff being said my bet and, and i mean I, I, brian's got his but in my opinion i don't think it, and if i was going to vegas i would say they're not going to do anything in september all right my bet is it doesn't matter Okay, because the bond, the interest rate, the bond, the mortgage interest rate market will will adjust based on what it thinks up till the decision day, and then when the decision comes out, it'll go, oh, okay, who cares? And it'll keep doing its thing. <laughs> now it might be lower, but remember, when you start looking, this this is what gets me. That is a that's an awesome imbalance for a buyer. That's beautiful. Yeah, that is a, what we call a buyer's market right there. And if you can get in there, remember, it's good, you're going to be looking for a house for weeks, months, maybe. And meanwhile, the interest rates are going to do what they're going to do. The the trend is our friend. So rates are dropping. So get in now, find something, and then we'll take so, it at low rates. So from a, a real estate standpoint, too, so it used to be, if we go back into the pandemic or just after the pandemic, it was literally, I have, you know, people would come in and they would say, I have, this is my pre-approval that I got from Brian. 
and we, we want a house in this area. And there would literally be one or two. Yeah, yeah. And then and then you're in a dog fight with 10 other people. That's, um, that's this right here. Yeah. The, the pandemic days. Correct. But that's, that was, that's this too yeah. if interest rates drop. That's where we're going back to, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. So to, to me, to be able to say, hey, you know what? In this area, I've got 20 that I can look at now. And I can see that this carpet needs to be done. And, you know, there's this really cool thing, Brian. It's called a buy-down. So from a, a buy-down perspective, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you can use up to 3% of the price of the house to buy down the interest yeah, rate. or more. Or more. Depending on the level of loan, yeah. Yeah. They can be 6% on most loans. So on a five hundred, yeah. so on a $500,000 house, with your interest rate being six and a quarter ish you can buy that down permanently so it doesn't impact yeah um with that fifteen thousand dollars um and you do that from the seller so rather than maybe say you know arguing about whether the roof needs done maybe you get the interest rates lowered which lowers your payment yeah and benefits you for 30 years that yeah. way rather than short term yeah there's also Two one buy downs, temporary buy downs, yeah. Te temporary, yeah. Uh, well said. Yeah. So you you get two percent off the first year, one percent off the second year, and then you're back up to the current rate. So there's all kinds of options. So like Brian says, that number right there, ten thousand seven hundred on the market That's right insane. now. We haven't seen that for ever. No, I yeah. mean even at the height when everybody was selling. Yeah, it was ninety six hundred. So we're a thousand more than that from twenty twenty two. For sure, it's time to get in. It's time to get in. <laughs> Can't tell you that enough. Yeah, and if you were looking six months ago, a year ago, just get back in. You don't have to do anything. Just get take look at some houses, and you'll see the difference of what's available. A lot of people I talk to have just given up. Say, ah, well, I'm going to wait till rates go back to four percent. That is not happening. <laughs> that is not going to happen. Getting under 4% costs $6 trillion, or something, <laughs> right? To get that. Yeah. So, okay. Yep. So supply, demand. Not Don't listen to the uncle. Don't listen to the cousin that thinks, says he knows everything. Yeah. Yeah. I know the future. S supply, yeah. demand. And anyway, and get in. Let's go. Let's go.